Today's video was brought to you by Revive Expert and they sent us a device from themselves. So we are going to show you how to install this really awesome device. But first of all, you will need to know what this device actually is. So this is a device that controls the power buttons on the motherboards of your GPU mining rigs. So what does this actually mean? If you're just on a very long distance from your GPU mining rig and you realize that your mining rig has been seized up, you cannot restart it with remote desktop or your team viewer. And what can you do here? You can just connect to your mining rig with this revive and manually turn it on or off or even restart the mining rig if you want to. You can even apply a watchdog in this so it is monitoring your mining rig. I mean, if it notices that your mining rig is turned off, it's gonna turn it back on. So there's another thing, this can do 16 GPU mining rigs at once. So that is really useful because you can run 16 GPUs a box and just control them remotely if they're having a problem or they can be automated with the watchdog of course. But in today's video I'm gonna show you real shortly what's included into this package and how you can simply install it and use the app to turn it on and off. Okay, so it consists of 16 revive switches, we're gonna call it, and it also includes 16 customized LAN cables. So these LAN cables are going to control the switches, and the switches are going to control your motherboard. So you need to connect the switches to where the power button that you normally put on your mining rigs, you need to replace them with these. So if you don't know where it is, I'm gonna show you an image where you need to put those two little things on. So after you connected it to all your mining rigs, all those switches and used the customized LAN cables into the box, of course you will need an actual LAN cable too to connect it to your network, to your router or your sub router, it doesn't matter too much. But you also need those extra LAN cable for connecting it to your network. So after you connected everything together, you will need to start searching it. So you can go on their manual for more information or on their website and you will be able to find the link to where you need to be able to find your revive device in your network. So it will automatically start scanning for the device on your network and what you need to do next is when it when it's finding your revive you will need to put the serial number of your device in there so you can validate it so it's going to be on the bottom of this machine it will also tell you that uh, just make a picture of it and write it down something like that and fill it in so after you fill it in you will have access to the machine and you can start giving manual controls or you can do the watchdog. So if you're going for the watchdog controls, you will need to ping your IP addresses of your mining rigs on the rigs themselves so you can fill those in. But if you're just going manual and you know like, oh, mining rig with 1060s or 1070s is number one, uh, name it like that, you can do it custom yourself with the manual, but you won't be able to use the watchdog because it's not gonna monitor your mining rig and it's not going to automatically turn it back on because it doesn't know the status of your mining rig. So I do recommend searching the IP addresses of your mining rigs, but you don't have to. So this is actually it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. There's no really big complicated things around it except for the ping and finding the IP address. So maybe I'm gonna make a second video about it if people are really having trouble doing that. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.